Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you guys my new car. Yeah, so the power went out today on base. So like all the airmen and stuff are like outside right now. Just like balling, playing ball, having barbecues, enjoying the weather, actually being outside. And uh, I'm, I might go out there later. I wanna vlog this just because it's such a big part of my channel. All right, so you all know how I don't like Moose's Tooth. I went there one time and it was not good pizza. And I've always gone to uh, Fat Ptarmigan's. Well, uh, my roommate, he loves Moose's Tooth. He claims that it's the best. And he went out and he got some Moose's Tooth. So we're gonna try it. And uh, I'm just gonna have to prove to him that it's really awful. But I appreciate the gesture and the, the effort. No, I'm just kidding. It should be all right, I guess. We're gonna check it out. Just some regular uh, pepperoni here. I'll take this little slice. I'm gonna warm it up. Okay. It's not gonna be good. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. It's pretty good. But this isn't the same pizza I had when I went there the first time. Oh, really? It's just pepperoni though. How do you mess up pepperoni? That's true, but I didn't want all that other crap on it. I had like bell peppers, onions, like sausage, and some bacon, I think. It was like a bunch of meat and onions and stuff. But Probably high protein land. Oh yeah, I think that was what it's called. High protein? Yeah. Like that. It was that. But uh I mean this is pretty good. It's way better when you sit down and they bring it to you. Yeah. Of course. Well, I mean, if they ever come around, because they never came around when I was there. <laughs> hey, man, it takes time. Profession takes time. I'm just glad the power came back on. I know, I was about to lose my damn mind. I was about to go outside and actually socialize. Now tell your audience how good it was. I mean, it wasn't that great. It was like, I would give it a, a 6 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Is that what you meant? 5 and a half. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to go back and like actually have the whole experience again. Because yeah. the worst part of it for me was just the service. Like the service was terrible. So if that's bad, I don't want to go back to get the food because it's like if the people suck, there's no point in going there. You might as well just get takeout. Hey guys, so it's about a week later. I just want to show you something real quick. So you know how we got that moose's tooth? I'm trying to be quiet because he's probably going to hear me. It's still in here. I forgot to get my trash. That's how you know it's not good. Like, if it was good, that pizza would have been gone. But since it's still sitting in there like a week later, which by the way, it needs to get thrown out. I'll try to say it was the best pizza ever. That was not good pizza. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys my new car. I just bought a new Jeep and uh, I'm really liking it. It's like my dream car for like this stage of the game. Like this age is my dream car. My ultimate dream car is a Dodge Viper, which probably isn't gonna happen. So like my second like feasible, like attainable dream car is a uh, 750 Li BMW. Man, those things look nice. Because we got like bears here, we don't have like normal dumpsters. We got like bear proof dumpsters. So we gotta like pull up on this and then unlock it and then pull up on it so that way the bears can't get to it. All right, that's done. So I'm gonna take you guys over here now. So just so you guys know, I'm not a hypocrite. I didn't buy this from a dealer. I didn't spend a whole bunch of money on it. Um, my shop chief and everybody at work thought that uh, it was gonna be like super expensive, but I actually found a really cheap one. It's not a Wrangler, it's a uh, Laredo, but here it is. <laughs> really happy with this. It's like, I mean, it's, it may not be for everybody, but uh, it's definitely my dream vehicle. It's four wheel drive, so it's gonna be good for the winter. It came with studded tires, an extra set of studded tires. It was about $7,000, so I actually bought it from a lady who is a, a pilot for Alaska Airlines. And so that was pretty cool. Um, I wanted to speak with her about like, how did you become a pilot and all that, but uh, she's actually out of town and her parents were selling the car for her. So I was just talking to her parents about it. So, but it was really cool. Let's go take you guys inside real quick. It's actually ironic that there's a Chevy Cruze like right over there because I was either going to get a Chevy Cruze or a Jeep Laredo and I ended up with the Laredo. I got the remote start, so uh, Shaniqua, that's my that's my Shaniqua over there. Y'all know old Shaniqua over here. This is my old green truck right here. 
right next to it. I got, I, I still haven't named my Jeep yet, but uh, I'll figure it out in time. But she's in pretty good shape. Looks pretty good on the inside. Interior is like all tan. My supervisor was making fun of me because it was tan. And it looked like a mom mobile. He was like, you're going to be picking up a bunch of soccer moms. I'm like, that's fine. Soccer moms make great peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, apple slices. That stuff is good for you. Starts up nice. Got good radio. It is quite good speakers. Everything is good on this vehicle. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with it. The only thing that I don't like about it is it doesn't have an aux cord. So I had to get like a wireless aux cord. One that is, it like, I'm gonna show you guys. It like transmits the frequency over the radio. So you just tune into a radio station and then you, just, you channel this to that radio station and then you plug it into your phone and then it, it sends out that radio frequency to the, your car. So it's basically just like the long way around of an aux cord, but it works uh, for the most part, it works pretty well. Shout out to one of my coworkers, Tidwell, he actually gave that to me. And then it has the, uh, the back, backspace, all cloth, looks good. That's my emergency bag over there. Has some tires back there. The seats fold down in the back. So, and it also has a tow package. I'll show you guys around the back. It's got the tow package. It's a little bit rusty, so I'm gonna have to do a little corrosion control on it. Nothing major though, no big dents, no no dings, no scratches. The window has a little ding in it, but that's pretty much common for all Alaska vehicles. It's got a little crackle right here. Almost in the same spot as Shaniqua. Shaniqua has a scratch over here in the same exact spot right here. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with my truck. I'm thinking about selling it. Um, I got, I paid 3,000 for it, and my new Jeep was uh, about 7,500. So, that's a pretty good step up. I think I'm gonna go and try to sell this for about 2.5. Um, so some new airmen, we're about to get a bunch of new airmen in our shop. Hopefully one of them needs a truck. I think I might take my Jeep for a little ride because uh, I'm hungry, I haven't really eaten yet. I still got a couple hours until I could be live on Twitch. So, uh, yes sir. I'm also doing a Q&A video. So I asked everybody on my uh, Snapchat. Oh, also, hey, listen, listen very closely. It doesn't pop off like a shotgun every time I open up my door. Unlike Shaniqua, although that's my fault because I crashed into a pole. Nevertheless, I'm also doing an Air Force Q&A video. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to add that into this video. I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow to record it. But uh, I asked everybody on my Twitch and my, not my Twitch, my Twitter and my Snapchat to ask me questions for a Q&A video. I think I'm going to actually include you all as well for my YouTube channel. So if you all have any questions, leave them down in the comment box below. I'll be doing a Q&A video next Wednesday. That's probably when I'll post it. Um, yeah. But uh, let's go get some lunch. Yo, I'm still mad Martin did not eat that pizza. That's such a waste of food. All right, I'm, put, I'm putting my seatbelt on. There's also a light that goes off right over there, like the low tire pressure. It has the tire pressure gauge, like to measure the uh, the PSI and the tires. And I checked the little, it was like a little thing right here on all cars. And uh, it tells you exactly how much PSI you need in your tires. I'm like, all right, 33. I went to the air machine, put 33 in, and it was actually on like 38. I think that's one of my subscribers right there. What's up, man? But uh, it was on 38, and I tried to, you know, basically let the air out, and so it was still going off, and so I put more air in it, and I don't really know what to do with it. I think it might just be faulty. I might have to go get the uh, the uh, the code cleared or whatever that is. I think I'm gonna say hi to this guy because I'm pretty sure that's one of my subscribers. He has a really nice car. Like he has like a Kia. I don't know if you can see it. It probably was too bright for you all to see it, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna drive by and see what's up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's him. Nope, I don't think that's him. I'm not sure. <laughs> what's up, man? It might be him, I don't know. This is gonna be super awkward here in a second because it might be him, it might not. Yeah, it is, what's up, man? One of my subscribers, you just, uh, I ran into you the other day and you're on my Snapchat, so I don't know if, if you all follow my Snapchat, this is the guy. Yep, <laughs> all right, I gotta go on my lunch break. All right, see you later. I'll catch you later, though. See you later. Well, yeah, that, that was Justin. He's one of my subscribers. He's a really cool guy. I met him the other day when I was in the parking lot. I was, like, walking by, just uh, back from the post office. And he, like, ran up to, like, I saw him, like, he, like, locked on to me, like a freaking guided missile or something. He just sprinted up to me. He was like, are you wobbly under? I'm like, yeah, hey, what's up, man? And he was like, oh, man, I'm a great fan and all that. So it was, it was awesome. If you guys ever, if I ever run into you, um, don't be hesitant. Just come up and say hi. Just say, hey, what's up? And... We'll have a conversation. We'll talk about whatever you want to talk about.
I think I will go to the bowling alley for lunch. I don't know if you guys know this, but the bowling alley here has amazing burgers. They have like cheeseburgers, uh, pizza. The pizza is not good here, but the cheeseburgers are amazing. They have chicken sandwiches, like grilled chicken with provolone and uh, some like lettuce, tomato, like kind of healthy. That's probably, probably what I'm going to get. Um, that's also like free so if you're on meal card if you live in the dorm rooms or if you're like an airman living in the dorms then pretty much everything is free except for the pizza you can't get like a whole pizza for free but you can get a sandwich with some fries and a drink and maybe like a cookie or some chips so or fruit and water so they have a lot of stuff going on in there this door is like super heavy Ugh. i always have to struggle to open that up you ever go to open up a door and it's like super heavy and makes you just look like weak? I've actually done a video here before about the Tenpin Bowling Alley, but it's uh, Topio's and Tenpin. The Topio side has pizzas and sandwiches, and then the Tenpin side has the uh, burgers, and they're amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna get some cheese and grapes. Perfect game, a grilled chicken sandwich. You're gonna take that to go right here. Um, to go. Thank you. Thanks. So I got a grilled chicken sandwich with uh, some grapes and cheese, water, and then uh, I gotta be fat, so I have a like ridiculously big cookie. These are literally the best cookies I've ever had in my life. Like coconut macadamia nut uh, chocolate chip cookie. Yes. I used to not even like coconut until I tried it in these cookies and it's like amazing. I don't like coconut cake. The only time I like coconut is in these cookies. I also sprinkle a little bit of crack on everything just to make you come back and just get you hooked on it. All right, so I got my food. I got a chicken sandwich and uh, you can't really see it that well. I guess you can. That's a pretty big sandwich. Got some fries, ketchup. <laughs> it's always so emasculating going through that door. I get reminded so quickly how weak I am. <laughs> Yo, the air show is coming up in July. And so the F-22s and stuff are starting to practice doing their formations and stuff. It's just so awesome, just like watching them fly. Other people, they're not as fascinated as I am about airplanes, but I'll just sit there and watch airplanes for hours and just be entertained. They could just be just flying in straight level flight. And I would just be like, Ah, it's just something relaxing about airplanes that I'll, I just enjoy. And we're back. Go ahead and snuggle in right next to Shaniqua. Oh, hope I don't hit my own car. That would suck. All right. I'm going to walk past Justin's car real quick. Yeah, that's nice. It's got a nice little ride. But uh, I'm over here with my Jeep. Airman, uh, senior airman. He's over here, airman basic with a nicer car. But, I mean, it seems reasonable, though. I'm not going to judge you on your car, bro. It's still nice. But, hey, guys, I just want to do a quick recap on my new car and just, you know, do a quick little vlog today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I have a bunch of stuff in my hands. This is going to be the most awkward ever. Peace. <laughs>